Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna test a new feature from Angular called Standalone Components. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start creating our first standalone component. Okay, here I have a basic structure from Angular generated by a CLI and just typing ng new standalone components project here. So uh, this is a basic uh, structure. And before we go to uh, creating our uh, standalone components, let's just uh, check uh, the documentation and see what's going on with the standalone components here. So uh, as in the documentation here, uh, we can see this uh, this note here, the standalone components feature is available, available sorry, for developer preview. Uh, it's ready to try, but it might change before it's stable. So this is just a preview of uh, this feature and it's available from uh, Angular 14 or higher. So uh, we're going to test this uh, standalone components and to see uh, what, uh, what what are they actually. So right now uh, I'm going to uh, our uh, Visual Studio code here and uh, I'm gonna create a new component here in our source folder. So typing ng uh, generate component and name it I'll just name it standalone because of this just for the sake of simplicity then uh, standalone and we have to add a new flag dash dash uh, standalone and hit handler so uh, this is actually uh, generating a new component here in the app and this is a standalone component as you can see here uh, in the in our uh, git repository uh, it is not uh, updating any of our modules that means that actually it is not adding or importing this component or declaring or doing anything with it in our app module or any module where the component is located so that's uh, something new you can see here okay uh, among, uh, 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 I'm just gonna create a new one here next to this one and that's gonna be a default one so we will be able to compare these two components so uh, just I'll go here back and uh, name it default so NGGC default hit enter so this is a default component just uh, like the one uh, we were using uh, up to day okay we can see in app modules some changes default component has declared and declared has been declared and imported here so that's not this uh, the, the case for the standalone component and if you open this uh, default you can see in this component uh, decorator we see three prop three properties here and if we open this standalone component we see now five uh, properties here so let's see what do we have new here uh, first of all, we have a standalone property here that is set to true. That means that uh, it is telling our standalone API in Angular that uh, this component is standalone. Another one is imports. Uh, this property actually is an array of uh, things that uh, this uh, dependencies actually that uh, this component uh, needs. Uh, so we are able to import modules. We are able to import components, pipes, uh, directives anything you need so we are going to import here and everything is working inside this component so this is so-called uh, standalone component and everything inside is just related to this component so if you open a good thing about this if you open a specific component that is standalone uh, you can see all the imports and all dependencies and everything about this component uh, another important thing here is that this standalone component is somehow uh, packed as an app different app I, I look at it uh, as a different app and small app small project small let's say uh, small small package or anything that could be just uh, copied from this uh, folder here and paste it into any angular project that is actually 14 or above and it will just work out of the box so that's that's really interesting and good thing because of the features that you maybe you're using and you're using in, in different projects and you just have to go and copy the component and paste it here and you have everything ready for use so uh, this is it uh, for for this thing here also I have to note I have to note uh, I have a note here for you uh, in imports regarding the components uh, only standalone components can be imported so uh, it's not the case uh, with default components 
also uh, because uh, we're gonna import uh, this standalone component into default component here that is uh, app component here so uh, as this component is not imported or uh, and, it, uh, and uh, it's not in declarations here we're not able to use it right now here and I'll just remove this here and I'll try to call it app and standalone and that's it hit save and now we can see that the standalone is known element here so we are not able to import it just like uh, we would we were doing before and now how to do that uh, we just have to go to app module and in not in declarations but in imports here we just have to import this uh, default component actually uh, standalone component sorry standalone component hit save and that's it and now in our app component we can see standalone here so uh, we're gonna test that uh, in our browser so I will just uh, ngs and the flag open so it should uh, open uh, our project after generating actually after building it so we can see now standalone works so uh, we have our first standalone component here now I'm gonna create something uh, else here uh, as I, I mentioned uh, I, I'm looking uh, I just uh, I'm I, I thinking about this standalone as a simple application or a feature or anything here just because it, this can be a feature in your in your application so I could add a new folder here and call it components and into that components I could generate a new uh, standalone component that I would import in this uh, in this uh, standalone component here so let's say I'm gonna create a button that we're gonna use here and I'll just generate it by typing ng g c and call it button and don't forget to add dash dash uh, standalone flag hit enter and it's just generating a button in the, our components here. So to be able to use this button here, as uh, if we add the but, uh, this uh, button app button here, we can see that we, we are not able because it's not a noun element. So what we have to do is in our standalone component in imports here, we have to add this button here. Button component and now when we hit save uh, and go back here, we can see that this app button is actually imported here. So going back here to our uh, local host 4200, we see button works. So uh, now you get a point uh, with this uh, standalone here. So actually what could I do here is just to try to just duplicate this copy. And let's say that I'll just paste it here actually I made a mistake here actually uh, in this standalone uh, standalone components I have generated this uh, button in in this but uh, that's not problem because this is standalone component I'll just move it here the button okay and in our standalone components just change the path of this okay it is actually auto updated so it should work as expected here okay and now uh, why why I uh, copied this just to show you the uh, simplicity of this uh, application so uh, er this standalone components and imports and everything is going to be uh, called here if I just import it because of the uh, app module I'm just uh, as I mentioned uh, importing standalone component into non standalone component so I just have to I import it here Sorry, I'll just rename it. This is an extra step, so you, you don't have to copy this, um, but I, I'll just... Uh, I'm still on two. Okay, and I just have to show you. Let's say standalone component two. From... Oops, oops, oops. Sorry. okay and now we have imports here and in our component here i'll just add standalone standalone 2 
And now we have, uh, we can see two times standalone works. So that means that uh, we're just importing this one here that is standalone two and standalone two, we can just add two works. You can see that we have the same functionality and everything here in these both components. So uh, this is it when it comes to standalone components right now. And you could test uh, this and uh, play with this, uh, add any, any functionalities here, but this is just for testing purposes. And this is just for simplicity of this tutorial to show the, the, the possibilities and what are actually standalone components. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to uh, lazy load these standalone components. So it, uh, our application is gonna be more performance optimized. Uh, in, if you are just uh, loading uh, these components uh, just per, as per need. So when uh, somebody uh, open a route and uh, these components are gonna be loaded uh, on just on that day and just on that time, sorry. So uh, if you like the video, please like, uh, share or subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.